Okay, so sad news for Reese Witherspoon. On Friday, she did announce that she is splitting from her husband of almost 12 years, Jim Toth. They released a joint statement that said, quote, we have enjoyed so many wonderful years together and are moving forward with deep love kindness and mutual respect for everything we have created together. Now, according to some reports, Reese and Jim have been quietly splitting up their joint properties and companies for years. And page six says their marriage had become platonic with zero romance. They have a 10 year old son together and Reese has two older kids from her marriage to Ryan Felipe. Felipe. Yeah. <laughs> Philippi. Um, Philippi. Is it? Oh, yeah, I, I always say right. fast because I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Philippi? <laughs> Philippi. I, I, thought thought was, I might be wrong. I'm always we wrong. Got, we got it though. Got we got it. It. Um, I'm seeing more and more of this conscious uncoupling yeah it's just a better way to do it I think that he, he, I remember kind of when everybody started to get on social media and they would have issues with their relationship they would make it very public yeah, it's like, complicated yeah, button, somebody that? tell this man he needs to come get us and it would be a very public declaration but people understand not only is that a bad look but your kids see that and that carries on for a long time Looking at the long game, understanding that this is a relationship, I don't look at it as a failure. I look at it as like, hey, we had 10 good years. We had seven good years. We got two great kids out of this. I look at my relationship. Uh, uh, my two children are everything but that I got after my wife, obviously my daughter. But, but, you know, why destroy that with a couple nasty words right at the end? I really do like this direction that I'm starting to see more and more, Jeff, which is people understanding that sometimes the romance just goes away and no one can explain it. But that doesn't mean that you have to destroy everything you built in the decade or two or three leading up to that. Yeah. I'm cashing off for $900 million for their company is in a bad yeah. not parting yeah. gift as well. Not a bad yeah. Yeah. You have a good life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, I'll see that you while we're sailing our yachts. money can make other. it uglier, too. Yeah, it, you could. Know? Yeah, it could. Yeah, it could. Really. It could. She, but it seems like this has been going on for a couple of years so it's just coming out now I think this is the finalization of it but yeah I'm also happy that this is the way things are going sometimes I am too and I look up to Reese she did Big Little Lies she's done producing she's with Kerry Washington she's done a ton of stuff and she is making bank with Draper James her clothing line so it seems as if she's gone more entrepreneurial and that you're right I used to think oh divorce so sad you really changed my view hey it could be a success that has just ended now is it, I, isn't it sadder when you hear people stay together and the romance was gone yeah you find out that like yeah. your favorite couple has been sleeping in different bedrooms yeah. and you're like oh you guys could have been out enjoying your lives in a different way I will say this though there are relationships that are volatile and no matter how hard you try to consciously uncouple maybe that person doesn't deserve it maybe it's just not in the cards for you maybe somebody did something really egregious mm. to you and your family so I just want to end it with that note because I don't want certain people to feel like that they have to reach out with an Fair. olive branch if that person doesn't Deserve, deserve that branch. Fair. Good branch work. <laughs> you don't deserve this branch. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> okay, in happier news, we got some happy news. There is a possible a possible new celebrity couple alert. Check this out. Is it An me? exclusive video. No. Wait, I want to take this in. Hold on. Yeah, take it in, Sam. Ew. Yep. Oh <laughs> Gross. my gosh. You guys know who that is. That is Emily Rodakowski. Okay, this is according to the Daily Mail and Harry Styles making out Next in to Tokyo. Next Mazda MPV. <laughs> oh my gosh. Currently, they uh, he is in Japan for his world tour. Emily is apparently there for her own reasons. But get this, some <laughs> what fans dug up an old interview from a Mexican TV show where Harry confessed that his celebrity crush was Emily Ratajkowski. Yep. Ooh, uh-huh. Yep. And then Emily also talked about Harry back in 2016 during an interview with Vanity Fair she answered fan questions about whether she would date Harry. Watch. Tor, who has a Harry Styles avatar, said, can Harry and Emily Ratajkowski date? I don't know. I'm not sure I, I believe in fans setting people up. I don't know if that's the way to find the best kind of relationship, but... Wow. What do we think of this bold makeout session? Jeff, you love Emily. Were you like, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's kind of getting a little too mainstream for me now. Oh. I'm, I'm kind of souring a little bit. <laughs> She's She's, listen, she's still on the laminated card, but she's moved down a couple notches, to be honest Why? with you. Why? Is it because she's with too many? It's a, yeah, a yeah, a lot of people didn't know who she was before. Now it seems like everybody knows oh, who she is. Oh, he did a little grab oh, there. Oh, there was a little grab. There but, was a little man, grab. what's life like for the people like I that? I know. Like, hey, I'm in Japan. So are you. Let's make out by a van. Or how yeah. about? Like, how, life's great. Or maybe he's like, I'll send you a plane to Japan. Oh, that would be great. Uh, I do want to say for a nickname I came up with, or we, some people did in the studio, uh, in the meeting, Harem. Harry Emily and came Emily. Up with that. Who did? Emily came up with I that. I came up with Harem. Did Emily? Did you come up it with Harem? It sounds like a fish. I don't like it. And also, I think we both came up with Harem. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we should. Uh, I like. Harem. 
Pickled harem. <laughs> but I like the look, the two of them. They're hot, they're spicy, they're they are I didn't the moment. See any of that, Tori. What, what do you mean, mean hot and spicy? You guys are assigning that to them. That was the worst makeout. That should have been happening in front of a middle school. They, that was I, terrible. I think they were a little tipsy and over -served. It was not sex. You guys are just saying that these are two hot, attractive people. So together, doing basic math, that must be hot. That is not yeah. hot at mm. all. There's that people, is, like, right that's next like to with them. with your Uber driver saying, I'm leaving in one minute. <laughs> yeah. That that's not hot. I, I don't know. I would think for this big buildup, they've been kind of talking about this for years. For for that, I thought it could have been a what better location. What did you expect? What do you want? Fireworks? Yeah. I don't know. Like in a nice what? mansion VIP. Oh yeah, with in front someone of a fireplace. Filming them? What are you, Batman? I don't know. Well, okay. not, not in a shady alley next to a. That's hot. I thought, down I, thought it was I thought it was kind of cute. Yeah. Okay. No, all right. All right. It wasn't all right, hot. Right. Okay. Well, let's talk about Justine Bateman. <laughs> she wants women, I love this, because she wants women to stop obsessing about looking younger and to embrace their wrinkles. She said it wasn't until she Googled herself that she discovered people had an obsession with her quote unquote old face. She noticed they were comparing her younger self to how she looks now at 57. She told 60 Minutes Australia she wants women to stop worrying about wrinkles. Watch. I like feeling that I'm I am a different person now than I was when I was 20. You believe and I, Yes, and I like looking in the mirror and seeing that evidence. I think I look rad. I think my face represents who I am. Uh, I like it. So what do we think about, Tori, you have a, your jaws on the floor. What's going on? Well, usually you don't see people be that open that are from Hollywood. They're usually, you don't see that kind of, you really don't see the reality. And she's really saying every wrinkle is an experience and a line is a lesson that I've learned. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I don't think everyone has to do that. I don't think everyone doesn't have to do it. I appreciate representation of that, even just that. Like when I see cellulite on like a magazine cover or like on an Instagram, I'm like, Stretch marks. I like. I like. Every woman has cellulite <laughs> and stretch marks, no matter how thin it, it, you are. It's I could lift up my skirt. I got to pinch my leg, pinch and it. I would have a whole thing a of cellulite. Hole. That's normal. That's normal. Normal. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. To say. Like, first of all, I think I'm not I, talking. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I will talk. I'll say again, and I've been representing for what I feel like is the you have. bulk of men for a long time. A lot of dudes don't mind stretch marks, and a lot of dudes don't mind cellulite. And you You've guys are responding to people that leave comments and make nasty comments about women on magazines. I'm telling you what you the, said the that. homies for the last 45 years, that's never <laughs> been a problem. I'm, I'm telling you. Can so I ask don't, you something? Do you don't let it become a problem up on in your 50. head. I'm not saying what, what men say is how you should yeah. base it, but it's it's not a problem. I think it's how you talk about it, though. I'm glad you talk about that way. I'm glad you brought up representation. I know when I'm with Sophie, I show her those things. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want her to think that everything's filtered and perfect. Is she like, Mom, please stop doing that? We're <laughs> no. at the mall. At what point does that come up? Yes. I'm naked around her a lot. Yes. Like, if I'm getting out of the shower, I'm like, my kids follow me everywhere. You know yes, this they do. Jordan. Yes. I can't <laughs> shower without them, like, Mom. Mom, 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 I can't use the bathroom. Oh, Nothing. really? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, then, I mean, she'll ask me, she'll say certain things. Someone, my cousin I was little and said, what's, what's this dimple right there? And I was like, oh, I fell. <laughs> I didn't fall, it's just a dimple. So I'll okay. tell you what Sophie Sorry, said Anna. to me on a break, because it's not PG. Oh. And it, I died. <laughs> I died. Okay. Okay. Brooke Shields. <laughs> reveals that her ex-husband, former tennis star Andre Agassi, wasn't a fan of her appearance on Friends. Speaking to The New Yorker, Brooke said Andre, who were just dating at the time, came to support her at the taping. She played a stalker, if you remember, who was obsessed with Joey's soap opera character, and in one scene, Brooke licks Joey's fingers, then attempts to devour them. <laughs> but Andre was upset by the scene and said she was making a fool of herself. She said, he went home, smashed all his tennis trophies. She also said he was using crystal meth around that time and that his behavior could have been a result of the drugs. Yeah, think? Yeah, think? Uh -huh. I read, yes. Interesting little caveat. I yeah. Just the crystal meth at the end. I read his book, Open, which is about the U.S. Open and him being open, and he is very clear about his drug use and his anger issues and his de de sincerely big insecurities about himself. So uh, I suggest reading it. It's a really good book, but he goes into it all. I mean, that, that tracks, as I said last week, Week, 
uh, Sammy, when we were talking about Kelly Ripa and, and her husband, Mark Marcus Consuelos. Yeah. You, you know, and he was saying that he, he was very jealous and, you know, that he had a nasty incident with a 70 year old waiter. And it, I, I've, I, it's, it's very alarming to me because it comes off as just like, he just loves me so much. He can't let me be away. But it's a way to control people when you make every situation they have with another person so unpleasant that they just pull away from their friends. So, you know, that we have a card game and in my new girl friend makes it a scene and then yells at me all the way home about why were we there so long? It, after a while you'll just stop going to the card games you'll stop meeting Sam for lunch and it's a way to isolate somebody so don't get this confused this is not cute behavior just a weird personality quirk this is a deliberate tactic a red flag. used to yeah. isolate people and then so you can have them to yourself I have a quick story you guys want to hear. Yes. 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 And tell me if yes. I'm, if uh, these are jealous tendencies, because me and my wife really don't get jealous that much. I, I really don't. I trust in our relationship. But I did get mad two weeks ago. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so here's Hold the story. On, I'll wait. set it up. I'll okay. set it up. So we went out, you know, a little date night for our Ooh. anniversary. Shout and out. right when we got to this restaurant, I mean, we sat down five minutes, ordered wine, and Jordan dumps the whole glass of wine all over my white shirt, like the karate kid when he gets spaghetti <laughs> dumped out. So I'm just like, oh, give me no. the keys. She's like laughing and sad, I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, give me the keys. I'm gonna get out of here and go change. So I left, a bunch of people came up to her and they're like, hey, oh my God, I saw what happened to Jeff. I'm such a fan, we watched the show. So she's sitting there by herself. People are coming up to the table and saying how much they love DBL, right? So I get back and she's like telling me a story like, oh my God, all these people came up, they love the show. I'm like, well, that's even more embarrassing because everyone <laughs> saw wine get dumped all on me. <laughs> then we get home. This is the part I'm talking about. We get home and our friends are over and she's like, Oh, you know what? I felt so good. This guy who looked like he played football came over to the table and goes, you could dump wine on me anytime you want. Oh, what? And I go, why didn't you tell me that at dinner? Why you got to wait till you have a couple of drinks? And she's like, I don't know. It just made me feel good. I'm like, that doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. That guy's a loser. That guy's an opportunistic <laughs> loser. Mm -hmm. He's probably out there. This story doesn't end with me getting my ass kicked. Although it might. I don't know. I might see him out. But would you get a little, feel some yes. way about yeah. that? She mm -hmm. withheld information. <laughs> Yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> she did, I, I love it. I love it so I much see why because she it's did. relatable. You did nothing wrong. She did but nothing wrong. This is just. This she is held a, on to that information. She, why didn't you tell me that at the restaurant? I think she maybe felt proud. And after she got a couple drinks in her, she was a little bit more able to bring it up. But the fact that you got a little bit of jealousy to me, a little bit. There's a big line between Mark Consuelos, Pryor, and you. It shows me that the fire's alive Agreed. between you and There's Jordan. There's a spy. That's a good. Uh, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, I, I, I get it. And also, like, you know, she knows her husband. And, like, if you had come back and, like, she hit you with that story immediately and he was still in the restaurant, we might be doing a three-person panel <laughs> no, today. No, Jeff so, would you know, never. I know, but I wouldn't be loving that if some guy in the restaurant was openly hitting on my girl as soon as I left. That's a major you violation. And I got wine on me Ugh, any day. What kind Ew. of line is that? Yeah, Ew. and Ugh. meanwhile, I'm embarrassedly shuffle off with my white shirt covered. <laughs> I mean, my underwear was wet. That's how much <laughs> wine how, went how in there. How did she do it? So she went like did this. The, so it was like a book like this, and she goes, oh, I'll just take the spinach or whatever. And she went like that, and the glass was on there, and it went immediately. Immediately, like right in my face and all down oh like my in goodness. my underwear and I just go give me the keys I gotta get out of here. I love it thank you for sharing that with we had a little we lecture can time all relate